we have face and then I to inset and then E to extrude in for the hole. You can see this is square, but if I enable my subdivision surface, you can see that it is now a circle. But if I turn off my overlays here, you can see that this is just fine. So uh, circular holes that go into our model uh, are going to be the easiest. Now we can also come in here and define the back and the front by adding a loop cut inside and dragging it to the back and then a loop cut inside dragging it to the front and if we turn it on you can see it's just defining that hole a little bit more uh, if i undo those you can see and then if i redo them you can see it just makes the edges a little bit sharper and i'm going to bump up the subdivisions just so it's a little bit more smooth you can see what that looks like so this is what we're going to be doing but we also are going to do it on not just one face but we're going to actually merge several faces so it's the same thing if we take these four and then I to inset all together like that, E to extrude those out. But if we do it this way, we actually don't have a circle and that's because we have more geometry. We have this edge loop that's going down in the middle and that would be the same here if we had an edge loop going down the middle here, but that's why it's happening here. So what we want to do before we extrude this actually, so we can I to inset and then make sure you come up to edit, preferences, add-ons, loop tools and then make sure that is checked and then with these selected we can right click and then go to loop tools circle and then down here we have some options the first option i'm going to change is to fit inside that's going to make that a little bit smaller you can rotate it with the angle like that so that's that's cool but now to flatten this we can press s to scale and then z now this is only if you're in normal transform orientation mode because normal is the direction that the faces are facing. So we want to scale it S, Z, zero, enter, and then there we go. Now it's flattened. So we can scale it down now and then E to extrude that in. And now when we come to our subdivision, it's going to have a little bit more of a sphere shape. And then we can do the same thing inside, add the loop cuts with control R to the front and the back like that. Perfect, so that is what we're gonna do for the first several holes.